Hey folks, welcome to episode 3 of this Let's Play series of Remnants of the Precursors. My name is Ben and I'm playing as the Mechlar. Um, a very quick rundown of where we're at. We're currently doing really well on everything other than fleet strength. Our neighbours are the Daleks, the Mercians, who we've actually got eyes on now, uh, and a human faction called the Terran. We've also met the, uh, the Silicoids and the Cylon, but we're not within diplomatic range of those guys, so we can't we can't talk to them yet. Um, oh, excuse me. Um, so my next plan is to t I want to take 58 serpents, and then I want to take this um, this artifact planet here. There is another planet that we've got here, um, Eight Pegasus, or a system. It's within range for me to colonize, and it's a good planet. However, it's well back behind my lines, and I don't think that they're going to grab it uh, anytime soon. We also have 71 Pisces here, but I, I, I wanted to go for 5 Aries first, just to stop the Daleks from getting too close. Um, I think... I oh know we're not within range of can uh, 43 Cancer, but once we've taken Aries, we can. Um, we, are, we are rapidly expanding, and this was, this was always going to happen with, this, with the Mechlars and that early tech that I got. I mean, I'm I'm now controlling 500 factories on Mechlar, on the homeworld of Mechlar. So at this point, I'm going to start putting, I'm going to start spending on research. We are going to have to start populating this planet, uh, Ares, but that's fine. We've got, a, we've got a fertile planet to do so. This is also a fertile planet. We've honestly got a really good start on this game. Uh, well, I've got a good role with regards to the planets that are around me, I should say. Whether I've played it right or not, well, that remains to be seen. Um, it is a bit risky doing what I'm doing and not building any uh, not building any ships. But for the moment, I don't think there's anything that can really... Well, the Mercian, if the Mercian have got a lot of fleet, have got a lot of ships, then that could be a problem for us. But we found a new... Ah, there we go. This is where the humans are. Or oh, that the Terran faction is Cerberus. And we've got imp improved Industrial Tech 9 hand lasers. Um, I'm going to go for improved Industrial Tech 8. A neutron pellet gun is a must get. I love neutron pellet gun. Whilst it might seem like uh, it's a little underpowered, it, the, its ability to reduce enemy shields by half and the fact that it's small means you can put it onto fighters, uh, onto, onto small ships. And lots and lots of you know like 100 or 200 fighters with neutron pellet guns are pretty pretty powerful uh we're about to break sp uh, not far from deep space scanner too uh npg i want this quick I, I really want that we're also researching nuclear engines with a little bit of luck guys we're going to have enough oh that's interesting why is that a square <laughs> I, d I don't know if that's a bug or if that's a is that a bug or a feature I don't know. I I think that that might be a bug. Um, well, that's something I can report to Ray later. Let's get on. Ah, the uh, the Terrans are, are pushing us are pushing us off their planet. Let's just retreat. I did actually get a warning about that last turn, and I, and I no, only noticed it just as I hit the end turn button. Um, okay, yeah, let's, we're going to colonize Ares. Let's call this mainframe okay the merchant race is awed by the scientific wonders of improved industrial tech what can we offer you for its secret i might take personal deflector shield yeah i think that'd be mind you improved terraforming uh improved terraforming would be good i don't know if we can get that ourselves either well, we can, but I don't think we. I saw it. Um, yeah, I'm going to get improved terraforming. That I mean, I'm always a little bit reluctant to swap stuff with the with the AI actually, because I don't like to make them stronger, particularly when I've got the potential to really powerhouse my own my own research. But I don't think I was able to get that, and that will make our population uh, growth much bigger. So we've got the just we got the um, the scanner as well that we wanted. Um, ECM Jammer Mark II will push us up to the next tier. But Battle Computer Mark II might be useful for putting on our fighters. Yeah, I'm going to go for that. It's usually a good idea to try and get jump up the jump up the tree as quickly as possible. Um, 
however i i've got a bonus to my computer text so i think it'll be you know it's not going to be a big problem for us let's go and in, uh, let's go and investigate some of these planets oops right click and mechlon build a few more scouts a couple more scouts will do um we need to send some population to mainframe so i'm going to send uh, what's our maximum now? 105. So if I send about 30, send 35, 35 pops straight to mainframe. There we go. <clears throat> Just push the ecology up a little bit. We're still building factories on Zoltar. Gigatron's growing quickly. I'm automat I'm immediately going to start putting just a little bit into. Uh, no, maybe not. Maybe not. Mind you, only half a factory each year for five research points. See, um, yeah, it might be worth just putting a bit into tech spending on this planet just to make use of that bonus that it's getting. I'm sure the more mathematics-oriented people out there will be frowning at my at my unusual decisions in that regard. Okay, so we've built a few more scouts. Um, I'll send one. One down there. I'm going to send one down. Where else can we see? Probably didn't need this many. Uh, let's just send one down here first. Eight years, wow. I'm in no hurry. So, um, then, right, we, we do need to think about how quickly we want to start expanding to these other planets. Um, that one particularly might be important to get. And it doesn't take me long to build colony ships now, so actually it might be might be a good idea just to push that fast. Try and get um, four three cancer, and then I can go for I can then go for Pisces and um, Pegasus. This is a poor planet, so I'm less bothered about this. I will get it. It's it's you you know even a poor planet is better than nothing. But there's an inferno, and we've got controlled Baron. Um, I'm going to go straight for oh there is a tundra planet near us, isn't there? I'm just going to go straight for dead. I think I've got enough planets to keep me going for a while. Uh, where was that? Oh, let's just have a look on the, the uh, expand screen. Okay. No, it's, it is expand. Oh, yeah, step. Okay, so we've got a step there. Inferno, arid. Oh, there's a dead planet there. Radiated. Okay. All right, yeah, we didn't miss anything by by jump, jumping straight ahead there. Let's get this second. Let's get um, this this, col this colony here. Uh, look, the Daleks are. That's their homeworld at Nazin. They've got Ringlo and Kalembel. They might well get this before. Um, I might just put a few fighters. Let's build. Let's build just a few fighters from. Oh, we can start terraforming now too. I did forget about that. Let's uh, let's build let's build a fight a few fighters and just send them down to four three cancer. That might just that might um, dissuade any unarmed colony ships from taking them. I'm going to do the same with this serpents here. Fifty eight serpents, um, you know, because the. We, look, we've really pushed around on all sides now. Um, this game, we are going to have to go to war quite quickly. But I don't think any of these guys are going to be able to match my production output. Not unless... I mean, even on, the, on this higher difficulty setting. If I can take these planets around me... And once I'm ready to start, I can I should be able to to steamroll these guys. I um, I must remember not I must not rem uh, forget sorry to 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 put some tech research out though because let's just uh, let's just yeah I was going to be wasting a lot of money there. Um, let's put let's put into some some into tech. Well, uh, I'm, I I think that basically if you overspend on a ship, it will it will put it into the ship's fund. I think that's how it works. I don't think it goes into the reserve. If it does go into the reserve, then you're wasting a lot of money because you know the, putting money into the reserve actually you lose it. You lose um, a certain percentage of it. <clears throat> okay. Can we see this? No, we can't go there yet. Okay. Yeah, that looks good. We just want to send, perhaps, just send um, a couple of fighters out that way. So we've got another colony ship. I'm going to send the colony ship straight down there. 
Um, now, Mechlon doesn't want to be building any more colony ships right now. Uh, I'm going to just put it straight into, into tech. Mainframe has got 35 transports on the way. That's plenty. We don't need any more than that. Uh, I might just send it. Uh, no, I, I think it will be okay because they grow fast. 85, what's that? 40, sort of 42. So they just need 40. But sending 35. I'll, I'll leave it. I'm not, I'm not going to spend the extra money. I think that'll be for, be okay. Gigatron is doing okay. Um, we just want to max out our, our factories, really. No point in putting anything into terraforming yet. Keep a little bit in research there, just to make use of that bonus. Uh, we've got 600 points going in per turn, and we're, 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 we've passed the threshold for Deflector 2, so that's good. Okay. They want D-Space scanners and they're going to give us personal deflector shield. I'll definitely, I'll take that. Okay, adds plus 10 to all ground combat rolls. That's going to help us. Looks like the uh, the Mercians are starting to, are starting to expand a little bit. Let's... I'd like to get one missile base up at least. Just, uh, I don't want um, any of these, these guys just rocking up with, with a, a basic ship and then and then um, bombing me and they do do that because they're just really annoying they will just they will just send sort of lone ships out that will start bombing your po uh, your population what am i selecting here that's causing me to do that uh, there we go so we want to send these fighters down here uh, and deploy and zoltar we're just we're just going to go straight back to building industry don't want to be building any terraforming. That might, that's my partly my fault because I keep I keep messing with the sliders. Oops. <laughs> I think I hit like three buttons on my mouse at the same time there. That's not wise. <laughs> okay. And mainframe is growing nicely. There, let's get let's get it on. We're doing good. We're doing good, guys. Found a tundra planet. And we found a rich planet in uh, 28 serpents. Okay. Now we've got a missile base up Mechlon. I, I I just like to get one base up. And it's not going to defend. It's not going to defend against the determined attacker. Uh, let's just put that here. Okay. Yeah, we could just carry on. Oh, I, I do want to have a quick, just quick check of the status screen. The Daleks got a fairly big fleet. Now we, we we're not going to be able to tell what what they feel about us because they're they're in, the moods and motives of the Daleks are inscrutable to our diplomats and spies. However, these guys, well, the Merchants are relaxed, but that doesn't mean anything when they're ruthless, honestly. And the same with Erratic. I wonder if these guys will trade. No, they got nothing for us. The Merchant. We can take class two deflectors, but I think we're 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 actually about to break that ourselves. Yeah, we're twenty six percent in there. We're gonna we're gonna break that ourselves. We're not far off from nuclear engines too. Let's let's uh, let's just keep pushing these these out. Um, scouts now. Don't think we can. I might just send these scouts down to Mech. Oh, down to uh, send one of them down to Mechlon. Then I've got something a bit closer. Mainframe, yeah, mainframe is just growing. We're nearly there. Uh, we've we've got a colony ship on the way to forty three cancer. <laughs> I'm 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 not sure what's going on with this this square here. That's really strange. I've not seen that before. Um, now, maybe we could we uh, maybe now might be a time to go for for eight Pegasus. They will. They, the, my opponents will start getting upset with me if I um, if I grow too quick. But oh, Terran ships have been spotted trespassing near our colony in the Gigatron system. They're obviously scoping us out. Um, yeah, I mean, I, I am going to go for these planets now just to just to take them. I mean, we're, we're on four at the moment, and I mean, we've already got we've already got the largest amount of planets. This might upset the uh, our neighbours. They will start considering us to be growing too quickly, and we are. 
So there's class 2 deflectors, and we'll go for class 4 next. Uh, we've still got um, we've still got Terran ships in the Gigatron system. Might just build build a fighter. I don't like uh, I don't really like them. <laughs> it doesn't really matter, but I don't really like them loitering over me. I, I, you don't really want them to scout your systems because it gives them more information. But um, Zoltar is terraforming still. I don't want to do that. Mainframe is doing good. Let's just keep plowing through the turns. A huge comet has been detected in the Zoltar system and will collide with the Mechlar world in 14 years unless a large ship fleet is displayed. Oh. Okay, well, this isn't the worst thing that could have happened to us. There, yeah, look, we've got this big red... Um, they will. This will destroy this planet, and this is one of our best planets, so we can't... We, that cannot happen. We've got to start building flip ships. So, um, firstly, let's... Let's send this colony ship to Pegasus. Hang on, which one's Serpens again? Okay, that's a size 45 step. I, I might get that one, actually, just because it's close to the humans. Uh, and I'll send that scout that way as well, because we'll... Yeah. Ah, oh, wow, this is going to be a thing. So, what, techs, what tech have we got? We need to push for neutron pellet gun quick. Let's get, let's just put everything into neutron pellet gun. Design a, design some new NPG ships fast. Um, how many turns is that going to take? It's going to take two turns. I think Zoltar can do the same. Um, it won't take that long. We get, we just want to bu bust out this research quick. Um, I don't think I can quite get it in one turn, but let's just see what we. Let's just try and push all our spending into neutron pellet gun, and then as soon as I've got that, I'll build some um, neutron pellet gun ships. And I don't know how it works out, how big the fleet is, but well, I I don't know quite how these random events work, but they often do seem to crop up when you're doing really well, and um, not to mention that bloody space crystal <laughs> and the amoeba <laughs> but let's let's not even talk about those horrors lest we summon them unto un unto ourselves um okay we found a resource rich inferno that's going to be good another inferno planet let's just retreat there it's just another human gunboat okay so yes we want to build a colony here um what should we call this <laughs> Microchip. There we go. Let's continue on this cheesy computer theme. Um, <clears throat> so, we didn't. How far are we towards NPG? Right, we're doing good. So let's just equalize those allocations again. Uh, I might. I might just keep pushing it in. Actually, yeah, I'll just keep pushing it. I want that. I want that tech as soon as possible, and then we can start banging out NPG um, ships. Um. kind of want to I do need to build some some factories though it's not wise to to not build factories merchants still haven't taken that why why haven't they taken this all the all the humans I've, I'm really I'm confused about that um, battle computer mark 2 neutron pellet gun um, let's go for Battle Computer Mark Three next. I'm not bothered about um, about ECMs. Um, yeah, and mass drivers. Mass driver are quite good. Okay, the Cylon Republic has formed an alliance with the Mentalon Republic. So let me just guess. The Mentalons are going to be a, a a clone of the Cylons, right? And those two working in an alliance could be really, really dangerous. <laughs> wow, this game has really become quite interesting. It really has been quite interesting. Uh, we've still got Terran ships intruding. So now we've got the MPGs. Immediately we want to start building some. Let's let's design a ship. Now I don't know, I don't really know how this works. Like I would I would generally use neutron pellet guns on fight on small fighter size ships. Um, why is this a medium ship now? 
That's interesting. They're usually that design small. No wonder it took me so long to build them. That's something that's changed. Usually the, the fighter is a is a small design. Um, okay. Oh, we've not got nuclear. That's another thing. I'm not bothered. I don't need. I don't need nuclear engines. I don't need them. This is just purely to stop this. Um, this uh, this problem that we've got. Okay, so I don't want battle computers. Let's just put a neutron pellet gun on. Um, we don't need anything else. Uh, I'm not gonna. I mean, I could use these afterwards, actually. Okay. Um, non. I don't want those lasers. Um. Now putting the putting these battle computers on would make them useful after the fact after after we've stopped this asteroid. Um, but I'm not bothered about shields. I might just um, see how many how much firepower. I don't really know how it works to calculate whether you're gonna whether whether this is gonna be a successful mission or not. It might be worth just putting one shield on. Uh, then we've only then we then we're missing something. Can we put a, no? We can't put nuclear bombs on either. Um, no, we can't get lasers on either. I think I'd rather. I'm I'm going to guess that it's going it's going by fighter firepower. If it's going by firepower, I would probably rather have. Yeah, I'll leave it at that. Four. I mean, four NPGs is pretty strong anyway. You haven't got any shields, so these things are going to die quickly if I do use them in a real battle. But that's not going to be a big problem. Let's just call this a, a NPG. MPG destroyer, and I'm going to put one next to it so that we know that it's only a warp one. <clears throat> That's a trick I got off Ray. Um, I saw him doing that, and it's it's kind of a variation of um, what I used to do in XCOM when I'd put the the, the class of the the uh, trooper next to his name, so that I, I kind of roughly knew what he was. Um, okay, so let we got to start pumping these ships out. Mechlon also needs to do the same. MPG destroyers. Let's set a rally point for Zoltar. Now it will let it will tell us once we started. No, I do still want to get some research. No, I don't know. I'm. I just don't know how how much how it calculates this. So I can't, I can't really. Ah, I'm out of control. I hate not being in control. <laughs> I'm a control freak. I like to need to know everything. Okay, Gigatron. Yeah, we're still building tech here. I, we need to start. Pushing this back into mostly back into into industry. We haven't sent any population to this planet here either. So mainframe is a good candidate, and so is Zoltar because they're both fertile. So let's send. We don't want to send too many from here though. Um, how many if, could fifty control? Well, that would be two fifty. Um, eight. So 42, um, I can probably afford to send about 10 from here and mainframe we can send about 10 and I'll just send these every few turns just to get microchip going. <laughs> microchip and yeah I'll, I'll leave it that I think these two planets should be able to should be able to um, supply us with a fleet to take out this take out this meteor at least I hope so a comet sorry why have I built bombers that's not what I wanted to do okay okay so we found another Dalek planet oh that was at Ringlow I see okay um, Terran ships are still trespassing where did I build those bombers uh, they were at oh they were here I don't want those so I'm, I'm I just want the NPG destroyers for the time being it might not matter I it, I mean it, we could potentially just I don't know how it works we might be able to just build a really poor quality fighter and that might work I don't really know <laughs> look at these little squares that's kind of interesting I wonder if this this might be actually I don't think this is a bug now I've seen why Ray's done this um, if there are two different um, human factions or there are two different blue factions. He might have made it so that 
there's a square around them to be able to distinguish them. That that makes more sense than, to me than it being a bug. I think that's quite unlikely. Um, yeah, we've only got nine ships, uh, nine years now, to to build these ships. So, um, I don't know if building a big ship works or not. I'm not really I'm not really sure. Let's just try and let's just try and build these MPGs. I'm going to go with this. It would be unfortunate if we lost Zoltar actually, but to this day, I've yet to lose um, a colony to uh, to the comet. So I, I'm usually able to save it. Okay, I want to send some more f uh, ships for, uh, transports from here to microchip. Uh, we've captured a spy from the Mercians. Interesting. Yeah, right now, now is a good time. By the way, now we've got a decent economy. Now is a good time to start putting some spending into in into our security bonus. I like to put a decent amount in because I don't like people stealing from me. And we are way ahead of everybody in the uh, in with regards to technology. So see, those guys have got four planets. These have got three. I mean, I've got five, and I'm a human, I guess, so that makes kind of sense. I would have expected the Mercians to have to have got more than two planets now. There's something wrong there. They, they, I don't understand why they've not taken Lyra. Um, there's, there's, there's something amiss. Let's just keep keep banging these uh, ships out. <clears throat> okay, so we've oh, our colonists are orbiting. Yeah, let's build a colony there. What should we call this one? I'm so sorry for these names. Okay, um, let's let's send a scout out to one of these other systems that we've not seen yet. Now we've got that artifact planet is in within range. I really do want to get that, but um, oh, I don't want the humans to get that before us. Really don't. They've found it too. I might just... How long will it take to build one here? Probably too long. Four years, that's alright. Let's build one. Let's build Let's build this planet, uh, this here. Um, I need to keep pumping out ships for Zo uh, to, to defeat this comet. Okay, how many, how many have we got here now? 18 MPG, 1 destroyers and 4 bombers. Okay. Don't know if this is going to be enough, but we'll see. Microchip's starting to develop. We don't want to be terraforming there. Oops. Yeah, we're doing okay. Um, we do need to send some uh, send some populations to that planet there to Pentium to get it going. So um, I don't want to send them from Gigatron. I don't really want to send them from Mel uh, Mechlon either. I think I'm going to have to. Let's just send let's send ten ships off there. What size is it? It's forty five. So that be that will be enough for now. We don't need to send too much. <clears throat> yeah, I mean we we are we're within striking range now of, um, of of two of our three of our opponents. Let's have a look at the status. Yeah, the merchants still got the biggest fleet. Um, our fleet's starting to grow. I mean, have, one of the knock-on effects of this con uh, this comment is it's forcing me to build ships, and I probably wouldn't have done that earlier. I, I I was on the I was on the verge of kind of forgetting to do that. So um, I think it's probably good that this happened in a sense, providing I don't I escape the event. Ah. The Triumvirate is happy to show you why you shouldn't irritate a race whose power dwarfs your own. You should learn this for lesson. You, sh you should learn from this lesson, if you live through it, that is. They're declaring war on us. Okay. This isn't good. Ah, oh, wow. Okay, we need to... Yeah, it's probably because we took that planet. Right, so... First of all, let's see if we can find any allies. We don't have any diplomacy. Okay, I've been slack here, guys. I really should have been. I, I didn't notice that we we were able to get within diplomatic range of these guys. Let's see if we can go to, if these guys will come to war with us. I bet they won't. No, we can't go. On, they, they they can't see the Terrans yet, or they don't want to. The Mercian might.
Yeah, they want ro improve robotic control three. I'll give them that for, for going to war with the Terran. The Merchant of Oil already got a decent sized fleet too. Okay, they're not going to have an NAP with us. That, I think I was asking a bit much then. Let's see what the uh, Cylon have got to say. Well, they'll take a trade treaty by the looks of it. And they don't want to go to war with us either, so... Um, okay. Yeah, they're erratic. I should have, I should have understood, I should have realised this there. And now they've got, they've actually got a, 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 a gunboat over this system. I don't think there's much I can do to save this, but Gigatron definitely needs to start building missile bases. Um... Ah, oh, that colony ship as well. I'll leave the colony ship for now. Let's just... Uh, yeah, we'll build some missile bases. I think this is going to be important. I don't... I'm a bit reluctant to... I'm a little bit reluctant to stop with the tech spending on that planet because it's our best tech planet, but... Wow. Yeah, this game's really hotted up. Guys, I'm going to leave it there for an episode. So, thank you for watching. Um, I hope you're finding it as exciting as I am. This is kind of getting interesting now with this whole comet situation and, and now we're at war. We've we've got into a, an early war with this faction here. Um, so, yeah, this could be interesting. I mean, look at the Mercians have got a huge fleet there too. I wonder what these are. I wonder if, it, if we've been able to see what they are. Uh, yeah, I mean, we've, seen the uh, we've only seen the gunboat with the lasers and the battle scanner. Well... Anyway, we'll come back to this uh we'll come back to this another time. Thanks for watching guys. Take care and I'll see you later.